Hello, I'm Viona from Feline Jungle, and if you're here, you're probably interested in the new digital plant journal that I just launched, or you already purchased one. In this video, I'm going to be giving a very detailed tour of my digital plant journal. Over here, I already have the Feline Jungle plant journal open in GoodNotes 5. If you don't know how to get to this stage, then you should watch my other video on how to purchase and download this digital plant journal. But right now we're on the very first page, which is the cover. It has a very beautiful graphic, feline jungle plant journal. And on top it has a navigation bar on all the different major sections of the plant journal. So here we have the index, um, repotting log, propagation, disease and pest tracker, notes page. And then over here, these three light green tabs is just general information. So we're just gonna go page by page and walk through everything. So you can do that by swiping. Here, it will take you to this menu page, which is the first tab over here. This menu page is basically a table of content where you can click each button to go to wherever you want. On this right-hand section, it has a really nice saying, which is grow through what you go through. <laughs> and then here you have, uh, here you can put your name as to who this journal belongs to. So for me, I would say Viona. And if you click any of these buttons, like this cover button, it'll take you back to the first page. Um, it's very user-friendly. This will take you to the welcome page, which is the next page. This welcome page has a very general introduction of myself and also ways for you to get connected to the rest of the feline jungle community. The next page we have here is a copyright page. This is probably something you want to skim through later, but basically has all the information on what you can do and shouldn't do with this plant journal. The next page here is the help section. This is basically everything I'm gonna go through in this video, but you can always click here to refer back to that information. Then also gives you general ways on how to use this plant journal on GoodNotes. After we're done with all this general information, we can finally get into the major sections of the plant journal. On this next page, we're gonna land to the table of content for the plant index. You're basically gonna put the plant name of all the plants you wanna include in this plant journal, and there's 25 slots. You can start adding the plant name by turning this into the editing mode by simply touching this button right here. This will automatically put you in the editing mode. You select the pen you wanna use, then you can zoom in, and start writing the plant name. So we're just gonna go with a, like a pilea right now. So we're gonna write in pilea. So this is gonna now correspond to plant number one. So I just hit the button to go back to the navigation mode. So if I hit this plant number one button, it will take me to the plant care sheet for it. And I can start uh, filling this information. So if you haven't seen this plant care sheet before, it basically tells you all the basic information for your plant from the plant name, unique characteristics, where you got it from, and that has a next section for all the plant care information you will need for this plant from humidity, temperature, lighting needs, um, and fertilization type. Next section over here, we have the watering log which is great for keeping track of your watering schedule. I don't know about you guys, but I always forget when was the last time I watered the plant. So this is a very extremely useful section. And what I love most about this plant care sheet is actually this growth chart where I can start using my artistic abilities to draw in the plant. And also it's a fun way for me to keep track of the growing progress of my plant. I also included a little space for, you know, any notes that don't apply to any of these other sections. Maybe you want to put in when was the last time it had a new leaf or when was the last time you, um, re like when was the last time you located to a different uh, location in your house. That's something you can put here. 
So after that, you can also navigate to different plant care sheets using this right hand side navigation bar. You can tell which plant care sheet you're on by the color. So right now, number one is a darker green. So you know that you're on page number one of the plant care index. And then you can hit any of these buttons to go to any plant care page you want. If there is a specific plant you're looking for, you can always hit this plant index tab on top over here to land back on the table of content. And then when you have all this plant names filled out, you can easily go to page number 16 for like your philodendron gloriosum or something. Other major sections of the plant journal are the different many trackers that you have on the top over here. So we can go here to the repotting section. This is great for you to keep track of your plant growth as well. Like when was the last time you repot your plant? You could put the date, the plant name, the size of the previous pot, and then the size of your current pot. We can go to the next tab, which is propagation log. This is great for tracking any of your propagation projects and cuttings that you make around the house. You can put the name and the ID of the plant. And when you started propagating, what was the method? Did you use water propagation? Um, did you use moss? Did you use LECA? You can put all that detailed information over here. And then you can also put when you ended the propagation process. Let's say when you actually repotted in soil or something. I also included a section where you can take note of the results. Did your propagation succeed or did it fail? Why did it fail? This is um, really good notes to always go back to. Right now we have four slots for the propagation log, but you can always add more pages to it by adding page from the template library, which I will talk about later in this video. So next we're gonna go to the next tab, which is the pest and disease log. Here you will track the different pest or disease problems that you have, when it started, when it end, what's the problem, did you get mealybugs, spider mites, scales, and how you treated it. This is all really good information to look back on. And then here we have three slots and that's not a problem because you can always add on to these pages. Then on the last tab here, we have extra notes. So this is just for freestyle, any notes that you wanna put in here or keep track of, you can put in this section. I use a dotted grid, so you can use this as a guide for writing notes or also for drawing stuff that you want. Now I wanna talk about the template library for how to add pages to your plant journal. So this is the plus button over here for you to add pages. Here, it tells you basic information on how to duplicate the page. You will click on the thumbnail of the page you want. So let's say the repotting log. We're gonna hit this icon right here on the right hand side to add page and simply hit the current template to add the page. And this is the latest page that you just add. To help you navigate through these different pages, I put a page section blank so that you can number these pages. So here I put a star just so I know which one's the first page. You can go into editing mode and name this page number one. And then make this page number two, number three, and so on to help you. This is basically everything you need to know about the Feline Jungle Digital Plant Journal. If there is anything that you forgot or want to refer back to, you can always go to this question mark tab and it will tell you everything I just talked about in this video. And if you ever wanna refer back to this video, you can hit this button over here that says video tutorial, which will lead you back to this video. This is the layout of the plant journal, but if you want to know how to use it, you can go to the second tab, which will give you a general guide on how to use the plant journal on GoodNotes. I hope you found this tour of my digital plant journal very helpful. And if you already purchased this, then thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate any feedback or review that you have on this product to help me improve it. 
And if you don't know about the Feline Jungle channel or community, I make videos and content on YouTube, Instagram that helps plant parents plant care and style their plants. So if you're interested in that kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.